Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Gina works to finally bring Frank Mosca to justice in the episode Blood and Roses. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired from March 21st to April 3rd, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 21st, Mike Tyson defeated Tony Tubbs in Tokyo in just two rounds. The fight was squeezed in between his previous fight with Larry Holmes, who Tyson knocked out in the fourth round, and his June 27th fight against Michael Spinks, who was knocked out in 91 seconds. 1988 was the pinnacle of Tyson's career, which would quickly go off the rails in 1989, both professionally and personally. Although his fight with Tony Tubbs wasn't much to watch, it was still amazing to see Iron Mike in his boxing prime. In music, the king of pop is back on the Hot 100. The two weeks between Vice episodes was dominated by Michael Jackson's classic Man in the Mirror. The fourth consecutive number one single from the album Bad, this song is universally praised as being one of Michael's best. If you don't like this song, I highly encourage you to take a look at yourself and then make the change. In movies. Okay, it's all right, people. Police Academy Assignment Miami Beach is gone and we never have to speak of it again. Replacing the Police Academy dud is the much better Biloxi Blues. Starring Matthew Broderick and Christopher Walken, the film follows a new soldier drafted into the Army during the last year of World War II and sent to Mississippi for basic training. Directed by Mike Nichols, it's not the last time we'll see him behind the camera in 1988 as he also directs the essential 80s film Working Girl. Even though Biloxi Blues is not the best comedy for the 80s, it's a nice palate cleanser after last week. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.